Hey everyone, welcome back to Grace Note Forge. So a while ago I did this rhino ring sculpt in Blender, and before I move on to printing and casting this piece, I actually want to do a few more things to make it more interesting. And my plan is to do a relief sculpt of a rhino on the back of the ring. And this is something known as a bas relief, uh, which is pretty common in jewelry design. And there's a few different ways to go about making these, but today I'm going to go over my process for sculpting one from scratch. So for now, I'm just going to bring in a separate surface to sculpt on. And I'm going to drop in a mesh cylinder and just scale it to fit in this little back round section of the ring. And just to get the surfaces to line up a little better, I'm going to hop into X-ray mode. And then from the side view, I'm just going to line up those surfaces to where they're pretty close. All right, now before I get into sculpting on this surface, I'm going to apply that scale first by hitting Control A and selecting all transforms. Now I'm just going to hop into sculpt mode. And the first thing that I want to do is block off the back of the ring just so it's not in the way during sculpting. So Hopping into x-ray mode again, I'm just going to hit alt B and select over my work area to give myself a better view. So next I'm going to remesh this cylinder to give me a better surface for sculpting. And I'm just doing that with the shortcut R and then control R to apply that remesh. All right, so next I'm going to use the mask brush and I'm going to start working on drawing out the silhouette of the rhino. And for this, I have the strength of the mask brush set all the way up. And I'm really not worried too much about the details just yet. I'm just basically concentrating on the profile of the rhino and trying to get it relatively close. So I am using a drawing tablet for this just to make it a little easier and hitting control every now and then on the keyboard to take away that mask in the areas I don't want it. So once that silhouette is looking pretty good, the next thing I'm going to do is kind of extrude this silhouette out to give me more depth to work on. So I'm going to do that by inverting my mask by hitting control I and then using the move tool in sculpt mode I'm just going to grab the Y axis arrow and pull this silhouette out. All right so the next thing I'm going to do is remesh this object one more time and then I'm going to go through with the smooth brush and just soften up those edges a little bit more. Then once that's looking pretty good, I can go ahead and remove the mask by hitting Alt M. And then I'm going to hop back into object mode and just move this whole object back into the body of the ring. And I'm just moving this on the Y axis again, and I'm just going to line it up to where the flat section of that cylinder kind of disappears and we only have that silhouette of the rhino sticking out. So the reason I like to do it this way instead of sculpting directly on the back of the ring is because now I have a little bit more flexibility for sculpting. Uh, so now if I want to make any kind of adjustments or move around this silhouette, I can push and pull it or add to it and still keep those really crisp edges along the profile of the rhino. So with the move brush, I'm just going to go through and make some minor adjustments to the silhouette. And then I'm going to start sculpting in some of the forms and details. So to do that, I'm just going to use the clay strips brush and I'm going to start building out some of these forms that I know are sticking out more based on my reference. So the areas like the cheeks or the stomach and shoulders, 
I can see in the reference are kind of sticking out more so than the edges or the creases in some areas of the skin. And one of the nice things about doing these relief sculpts is that a little really does kind of go a long way. And that's just because these forms don't really line up uh, in the same proportion that they would be in real life. So you can think of a relief sculpt as kind of like a normal 3D model, uh, but just squashed down. So the proportions are a lot less intense and exaggerated than what they might be in a regular sculpt. So you can see just by kind of going through and building out some of these areas like the folds in the skin, even just a little bit is kind of all that's needed to sell the look. And I'm still trying to keep in mind a little bit of what is sticking out kind of the most. In this case, I think it would be the stomach kind of popping out further than anything else. But honestly, you don't need to be too crazy accurate to have the sculpt read the way that you want. So for my brushes, I'm really just sticking to the clay strips brush to kind of build out the forms and the crease brush to kind of carve in those sharp folds in the skin and really just a smooth brush by hitting shift and maybe the move brush every now and then. Most of the time I really try to keep it simple with my sculpts and not overthink it or use too many specialty brushes, especially with something like this that really isn't overly complicated. And once I have most of the larger forms of the rhino kind of built out how I like them, I'm just going to remesh the sculpt one more time to a little bit of a higher poly count and bring in just a little bit more detail with the crease brush. And I'm really not trying to go too crazy with the detail. And this is something that I've been really trying to keep in mind, especially with small sculpts like this. Um, is that some of this detail just isn't really going to read. So there's really no need to go too high in detail and really do anything crazy like build out the pores or something in this sculpt. Uh, I think the final size comes to around six by three millimeters. So a lot of these cracks and creases in the skin um, probably won't even come out very well when 3D printing. So really, as long as this reads as a rhino kind of from a distance, then I'm really happy with it. All right, so I think it's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna unhide the rest of the ring and take a look to see how else I can improve this. And right now I like how the relief sculpt is looking, but I think it kind of looks a little flat just sitting there by itself. So next I want to try to add some texture in this domed out area around the rhino. So to do that, I'm just gonna do the same step of hiding the back of the ring to isolate the area that I'm working on. And then I masked off around this edge of where that larger dome starts to cut in. And with that mask in place, I'm just gonna use a custom alpha brush of this cracked clay texture, which I feel works really well for kind of the rhino's environment. And I'm just gonna go through and kind of stamp this brush in place, trying to line up some of the cracks to make it all look pretty seamless. And the mask has a slight feathered edge to it, which will kind of help to fade out that texture so it's not on the area of the ring that will be touching the skin. All right, that about does it for this design. I think it's looking really cool so far and I'm really excited to print and cast this one. Uh, the only thing left to do now is just join the objects together 
and get the whole model ready for 3D printing and casting. But that'll have to be for another video. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.